Well, hello, everyone. It's Mr. Sunshine Rolls-Royce Technician Eddie coming to you live right here, right now in sunny South Florida. Hey, how you doing, buddy? We'll be ready in five minutes as we're getting coming to you live right here in South Florida. And what you can see right here, these are stripped down brake valves. Take a look at this. Complete. Don't it look better than what it did yesterday? Well, we're going to be getting those all blasted. But for right now, uh, while we were waiting, we went ahead and we cleaned all. Get a load of these, Leo. Let's take a look at what we got going on here, huh? Look at that. It looks like brand everything. We everything. We cleaned the uh this is the uh pressure switch right here. So we got them all cleaned up. And what we're gonna do, we went ahead and cleaned all of these. We're gonna clean in all of these here to get the O rings in. And I like to polish these up. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna set this right in there like that. Swirl it around, clean it up. Wow. Look at that, Leo. Look at that. Like brand new in there. You know, a lot of there's a there's a few people out there that uh rebuild these, but I could guarantee you they're not rebuilding them to see how you got a little bit no, of that corrosion. They're, nice they're not no, no, they're no. These things are like a work of art when we're done. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and just clean that. I got special brushes, special cleaners and buffers. To clean all of that just like that. Look at the inside of that. Wow, huh? Like a surgeon. So when that Rolls Royce 363 brake fluid comes, ease it on out of there. Well, I gotta tell all you, right. you know, when you have all these little parts and pieces on the bench like that, and you know where each one of them goes. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, something. Right. And there ain't no manual here either. No, no manual. <laughs> there ain't no, there's no, manual. no, no uh, There ain't no exploded there's no diagram. No, there ain't no playbook. no playbook. So what we're going to do is you can see where, you see that little bit of... Yep. Yeah. Gunk in there. Oh, yeah. I know well, you have your glasses on because you want to make sure you got your glasses on. What we're going to do is we're going to go down each and every one of those. That's where the, that's where the O-ring sits. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that that O-ring is going to sit in there perfectly without being held up on anything. You see that? Right. Look how nice no and clean that is. Yeah. Like that. Burr. So no, no burrs, none of this gunk corrosion Corrosive. that was on there. Or dried brake fluid or all of that kind of stuff. So we just go right around each one, taking our time. Look at that. And then we're going to go ahead. you got to be careful with this one. It has the plastic separator on it. Is that what that is? That's separator. what that is, yep. So you can't get that piece, I take it. No, no. you got to protect it at all costs. Yeah. Well, and there it is. Look at that. Like got a little sticker. piece right here. I like to make sure that everything's out of there. So by cleaning that up, there's that one. That one's done. We'll go ahead and do this one real quick. Those little Dremel tools or something else. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to use a Dremel tool. You got to use, take the extra few minutes and do it right. A lot of people, they just rip it apart, throw a new O-ring in there. And then they expect it to be out the door because nobody, you know, would ever tear it apart to see what the hell's going on. Well, we like to videotape everything so you can watch it. Uh, these videos actually go on YouTube worldwide for my fellow Rolls-Royce uh, collectors and uh, owners can see exactly. Exactly what they're getting, right. These actually... And what actually goes into it. And what goes into it, yeah. So there it is. That one would be done. This isn't no two-minute job, dude. No, no, no. This is... Uh, all right, we got the needles. The the uh, bobbin pins are all completed. We'll put new O-rings. I have new O-rings that go on there. And then uh, we'll blast these. These will be next. We're going to do these a little bit later. We're going to go ahead and we're going to blast these all down, clean them all up. You can see the corrosion on them. But... Uh, once I get them done polished, they'll last another 50, 60 years. Wow. You know, and there it is. Wow. So, all right, so Mr. Sunshine, Rolls Royce Technician, Eddie, coming to you live. We've got to do some running. We'll come back live a little bit later. Uh, we will be, uh, we actually have another inspection on another property that I sold. So we're going to go down and handle that right now. And then tonight, the main event, starting uh, approximately at 545, we will be heading over to uh, a mansion in Palm Beach uh, for cocktails, and then we will be, uh, I will try to bring you live uh, in the Rolls-Royce. i actually going to yeah, go in the Rolls-Royce. It'll be the first time 
as a member going to Mar-a-Lago. That's right, Donald Trump's $600 million mansion tonight for dinner. So uh, stay tuned tonight. We got a big event for you here in sunny South Florida, Mr. Sunshine. Woo, style of the profile. Look at his old He can look as we ease on Brioni in. I'm wearing the Brioni suit, the Brioni one. Super 180. That's right, the navy blue. I'm either going to go with the tie. white tie or the red tie. So, or the yellow tie oh, no, or the no, no, no. red tie. Wear a red, tie. red tie. So I'm going to wear the I'm going to wear the red tie people, today. Right That's there. right. <laughs> That's right. All right. So from Rolls Royce to Trump's mansion and everything in between. I hope you're all having a great day, Mr. Sunshine. Rolls Royce technician right. Eddie coming to you live right here in sunny South Florida. Thank you for watching. Woo.